Hey y'all, welcome back Tiny House people. This is Wayne and Wayne's Tiny House. Uh, as you can see, I'm a lot further along than my last video I uploaded. But uh, I think maybe uh, what I'll be doing is going back in time and showing you the uh, various uh, stages of construction I was going through. Um, it is a beautiful sunny Christmas day. Um, about eh, 10, 10 o'clock? I don't know what time it is. Who cares? It's Christmas. Uh, all my family's out of state right now. Grandchildren are visiting the, the uh, grandparents in Tennessee. So I'm going to take this time to take some, um, yeah, make some videos and make, I hope to get one out today because I'm long overdue. <clears throat> in any case, I'm going to go back in time and I'm going to show you how I did my outer walls to my upper loft. As you can see there, it's all done there. Um, I got a lot more done. Uh, the ceiling's insulated. Got a lot more to do. Um, it's been a year, over a year. I'm just worn out, I'm telling you. So in any case, I'm going to take some time out and get some videos done. I hope, I hope, I hope. So in any case, I hope you enjoy this video. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, the first thing I'm going to be doing is transferring the angle of, uh, of what I have to cut the 2 by 4s to with this, for what they call it, a framing wizard. I don't know if you can see that. The framing wizard. I thought, saw that at uh, Lowe's. And I said, ah, I bet you that's going to be a handy tool to have. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go up there and transfer my angle. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. see this what I did was I couldn't transfer the angle off that end but I transferred it from the opposite end and that's what I will cut my 2 by 4s to and that will become clear as we go along okay uh, what, the next thing I did was got a piece of scrap wood transferred that angle to a piece of scrap wood to see how, uh, how well it fits the area I'm going to be putting this into. So my next step is to crawl up there, see if she fits. If it doesn't, I make some a few adjustments and go from there. I'm going to just do this. My test piece fit perfectly where this is going to go on both ends. So now my next step is to measure that piece that's going to go against the uh, rafter. That'll be my top plate. Fit that in there. Yes. Okay, and now what I'm going to attempt to do is to cut the uh, long piece to the same angle as I cut the test piece, which was, let's see. Uh, I got, so I was going to go get my clamp, and I got. Two clamps. Ah, two clamps. All right, now I'm gonna go up there. And see if I can fit this. Okay, now that I've um, figured out the length of my bottom plate and my top plate, I laid them down in there, up top. I laid them where they belong. Clamp this up to the rafter. And I figured out all the lengths of the studs I needed in here. And I dry fit them, make sure they fit good, make sure they were square to the plate. Of course, it's not square to this because this goes down at an angle. And what I chose to use to fasten them are these, uh, let me see, I don't know. What I'm using is these babies right here. And the reason why I'm using these, I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit here. Okay, the reason why I'm using these is because couple of reasons. If you're using screws, like that, if you're using screws, um, you make a mistake, you easily back them out. Uh, and it makes a really nice, tight assembly. What you want to do, 
is weigh each component that you make. Okay, so I'm going to weigh this. Now, how, how do you weigh this? Well, I got myself a digital scale. Let me bridge it something like that. Do. Okay, and then do, and then you pick up your assembly like this. Set her down, but you gotta get in somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and that weighs 45.8 pounds. I don't know if you can see it or not. 45.8 pounds. Now, what I do is I do it twice, make sure I got it on there right. Let's see if we got the same number here. 45.8 pounds. So with your magic marker, indelible ink, uh, your Sharpie, what do we don't call it? 45.8. You have to keep, you have to have some idea of how much your house is going to weigh. Because you're putting it on a trailer, for example, this trailer here is rated for 10,000 pounds. You can't exceed 10,000 pounds. That includes all your dishes and your furniture. So you gotta have an idea of how heavy your house is gonna be. So maybe you can't buy that cast iron sink that you want, or that real heavy whatever you wanna buy. You gotta keep an eye on what you're doing. So my next step is to get this, get this baby back up and fit it, make sure I did my job right. Camera like an idiot. That's what Dan would do. He knocked out the camera. Almost, I almost did it. Now that I killed my knee, whoo, my god that hurt. Oh. <sighs> 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 Alright, let's see, let's take a look at it closer. Alright, I don't know how this is coming out, but there it is. Oh god. Hey, that was tricky with no hammer. In any case, that's it for now. Next thing I'm gonna just, um... Well, my battery went dead at the end of the last video, so uh, it was kind of like uh, a bad ending. Part two is the construction of the right side of the uh, outer wall in the main loft. I'm gonna fast forward it, nothing in instructional. Uh, you figure out what to do. I'm just showing you what I did. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, I figured I would film this part and show you how I can make a fool of myself. Let's see now. Let's go. Let's see if we can just trash the place. Okay. Holy crap.
Yeah. I need a hammer. Ah. Oh, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I got a hammer. I ain't gonna hammer out nothing except this freaking pan. Stupid. Two screws here. I used to love Dewalt. Milwaukee is the tool. I don't know if it's going to last as long, but it sure does do better work. Yeah, it does a better job. Does it better work? Yeah. Right. That's it for me building those two out of walls. I tell you, it was very time consuming, a lot of physical effort. You probably heard me huffing and puffing there. Wrapped my knee once. Oh my god, did that hurt. So far, no major injuries on this job site here. Um, I'm working alone. I always have my cell phone on me. Number one safety feature or safety device is your cell phone. You feel fell off, or if you, you know, you fall and kill yourself, you can't dial out. Fall in your unconscious, can't call out. But if you fall, you're incapacitated, you've got a cell phone. Remember that. 911. And if you can remember your address, you can get help. In any case, um, that's it for those uh, two auto walls. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, to hell with you. I don't care. Just subscribe, give me a thumbs up. That's cool. And uh, for Wayne's Tiny House, I'll talk to you later.